Hello, this is Mike again for Scratch, and welcome to This Week in Game Dev. This is week 32 for the week ending June the 26th. Now, the entire This Week in Game Dev series is all about recapping the news and events in the world of game development from the previous week. Um, I'll be honest up front, we're getting closer and closer to being full-time summer, and it shows. So these are starting to get shorter and shorter. Now, hopefully some exciting stuff is going to happen soon, uh, but this week not a lot happens. So this is going to be a very quick video. Uh, and actually, I generally put together a, a bundle of links of the stories that happened, but truth of the matter is, this time I will just link the stories down below. There aren't that many of them to justify a table of contents style post. Uh, so, this week in game development, we saw the release of the Lidworks Game Engine 4.1. Uh, the Lidworks Game Engine is Beginner Focus 3D Engine, um, it's got a bunch of tutorial content. It's all about getting you up and running, learning 3D. Uh, this release added a bunch of new features in the rendering side of things, environmental probe uh, entities for doing global illumination and reflections, uh, volumetric lighting, and enhanced post-processing were all added. So they're bringing just more graphical pizzazz to the game engine. Another aspect of this is just right now, it is on sale, but I will get back to that in a moment. Uh, another release this week was uh, Unreal, sorry, uh, Unity released uh, the video for Atom. Now, Atom was a Unity tech demo. Um, it ran in full time. It was done at their Unite Europe um, developer conference where this was first actually shown. And it's a real time demo, so it's running on real hardware. In their particular case, it ran at 1440p on a GTX 980. Um, and they're going to make it available for download. So you can run it on your own rig at some time in the future, uh, assuming you have a GTX 980 or better. Uh, but basically, it was all about showing off their newest features, including uh, real time area lights and the high fidelity physics from. Um, Parante effects. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing that, it's now available on YouTube. It's also obviously available embedded in this link that I have provided below. Uh, on the topic of Unity, they also released another patch. This was 5.3.5 patch 5. Uh, be honest, it's entirely just bug fixes, etc. So nothing really exciting there. And the final piece of news this week was Razer, um, probably my favorite laptop manufacturer and the maker of the microphone I am currently talking to. So I am actually a fan of Razer products, uh, but they're pushing hard to get into the VR space as well right now. And they're putting their money behind the OSVR, or Open Source VR Initiative, uh, which is what is backed by Valve. And that's ultimately what the HTC Vive runs on. Well, Razer have launched this program from, they're part of the OSVR Foundation. So they're actually looking for partners that are gonna be part of this group as well. Uh, but they're putting up $5 million for purchasing of OSVR powered application. Now this is actually a cool approach they've taken here. So if you're working on VR and you target the OSVR, Razer has allocated, or the OSVR Foundation have allocated $5 million towards purchasing games from you, which they will in, then in turn use for their own promotional needs. So if you buy, say, a dev kit, they, the, the um, uh, sorry, Razer's version is called the HDK2 uh, dev kit, which actually we can see right here, so this is sort of like the early version of the Oculus Rift. It's an implementation of the OSVR platform. But anyways, when they start selling this, what they could potentially do is bundle the games they've purchased. So they're basically guaranteeing a certain number of pre-orders. Now you don't have to be exclusive with them, so you can still release your game on Gear VR or Oculus or AMB's upcoming device or PlayStation VR or whatever. So it is a non-exclusive, non-binding agreement. They're basically saying, develop for our platform and we will guarantee you a minimum number of sales. If you're interested in signing up for this, that's exactly what the pro this is right now. There is a sign up form um, right here that you can use to contact them. So basically come on in here, fill out your, your information and submit it off to them. And uh, well, to be honest, that is about it for news. Now, if you watch my channel, you have probably also noticed and we're coming up, we've got uh, about a week and a half left to go. Uh, the Steam VR sale is also going on right now. Sorry, the Steam uh, summer sale. And where this is of importance to game developers. So if you watch my channel, you've already saw I did a video on this highlighting some of the key uh, game development tools out there. But if you come into software and down here to game development, you'll see there are a number of um, applications on here for game developers that are currently on sale. So you can see here, Game Maker Studio is 50% off. Now I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail on this because I've already covered a lot of these in that other video, which I will also link down below. But definitely one of those things to check out. Until July 4th, the ongoing summer sale does have a lot of tools of interest to game developers. So be sure to check that out. And sadly, 
That's about it in this world of game development. Now, if I miss anything in these roundups, by the way, do let me know. I am scouring the sources, the net, etc., trying to find anything of interest. And like I said, we're in the summer glut, so a lot of these videos are going to be a little bit less meaty than, say, around GDC or pretty much any of the rest of the year, to be honest. Uh, but hopefully next week's a little bit more engaging than this week was. Uh, but that was it. That was this week's news and game development. As I was saying, there's normally a lot more excitement in these particular posts, a lot more going on, but you do have an idea of what we cover here. Now, we do this kind of stuff all the time on Game for Scratch. We have a weekly recap of the news. Uh, we've got tutorials. We've got game engine reviews. We've got everything. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, please do click subscribe. It helps us out a lot. All right. See you all later. Goodbye.